ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Book Talk Wednesdays with Miss Brianne. And this is a series where I provide brief book talks on all the different graphic novels and easy readers that we here have to offer in the Children's Department of the West Hampton Free Library. In hopes that we encourage you to visit us here at the library in order to check out these amazing books for yourself. Now, today's book talk features the first two books in a slightly easy reader take on a graphic not on a very popular children's series or well, mystery series. All right, so who's heard of Nancy Drew? Many of you have heard of Nancy Drew. Now, then what they did was they adapted it for a series for younger children and they made it into a graphic novel series. And so you're going to meet with Nancy Drew and her friends George and Bess in the series Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew. Now today we're going to talk about the first two books, Small Volcanoes and Secret Sand Sleuths. Now, the authors of this series are... Sarah Kinney and Stefan Petruka. The illustrator is Stan, is Stan Goldberg. It's based off the popular series by Carolyn Keene. The colorist is Laura, of the series is Laurie Smith. The letterer is Tom Orzachowski. And it is, the publisher is Simon & Schuster, Inc. And it is published by arrangement with Aladdin Paperbacks which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster Children's Publishing Division. All right, with that being said, here we go. So, Nancy, Nancy George, and Bess are in Ms. Ramirez's third, third grade class. They're eight years old, and they love to hang out together in order to solve small mysteries. But... During this time of year, it is the annual science fair project, and they have to choose a project. And the most common theme this year is the volcano. Nobody can get enough of volcanoes. Everybody wants to build a volcano, including our clue crew. But, and unfortunately, the girls struggle with their eye version of a volcano. But things get even more complicated when everybody's volcano project suddenly disappears. Well, the girls find out where they are and who, done, who took the volcanoes in the first place? Well, read to find out. Next, we have Secret Sand Sleuths. Nancy and her friends are with their third grade class to a trip to the art museum where they're going to find mint, see chance to see and talk about many interesting artworks including the Sam Mandala art by a very popular artist who's a Buddhist or who's a monk. But something doesn't feel right. The sand exhibit's closed, the, the Mandala project is destroyed, and the head of the museum fires a, custo a young custodian or a new custodian who swears she has nothing to do with it. But the girls believe her when the young, the new custodian, when she says she didn't do it. Will they find out who the real culprit is? Well, they'll certainly try with the help of a surprise visitor. Now, this series was very good. It does get a little worried at times. It is hard to keep up. So I wouldn't recommend this for very young elementary readers who are just learning to read. But it's got a good action flow. The illustrations are very nice. And it's actually, it's almost pretty true to the actual children's series. Except that it's geared towards a younger audience. But with that being said, I give this series 5 out of 5 stars. And I recommend it to those... Oh, slightly older elementary readers, maybe not quite the tweens, but the older elementary readers who pretty much have gotten the hang of reading and are looking for something that's not too challenging, but they want to read mysteries, especially in a graphic novel form. 
This is Miss Brienne. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you soon.